Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I am canning some jalapeno jelly, and this is part of the Garden to Pantry collab put on by Diane, the canning nana, and I will link everybody's channel in the description box below for you. I needed to get some jalapeno jelly on my shelf because it's great for hors d'oeuvres. And yes, the classic way to serve it is over a brick of cream cheese. We all do that. But there are several other uses for jalapeno jelly. You know, you can put it on meat. You can put it on crostini. You can serve it with not just cream cheese, but you can serve it with other cheeses such as goat cheese. It's so good with a manchego cheese and brie. But jalapeno jelly is actually really good inside white cake. Believe it or not. <laughs> it gives it that little hint. It is so good. Anyway, folks, I am out of it. I needed some on my shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and get some made up. Anyway, another thing I want to add is during the holidays, I love you can serve the brick of cream cheese with your jalapeno jam, but I also make a sweet chili jam and I like to do half with the sweet chili and half with the jalapeno and then you get the red, white, and the green and it is so beautiful and delicious, both of them together. <laughs> I will link that jam recipe in the description box for you as well. Anyway, let's get started. I have a one pound of jalapenos right here. I am going to take the tops off. I'm going to cut them in half and I'm taking the seeds out. Then I'm going to chop them up and then I'm going to put them in here. Oops. This is my little pampered chef chopper. And then I'm going to chop them. I have my jalapenos in here, at least half of them. And then I have one cup of vinegar. I'm going to put, and this is apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I'm going to put half of it in there so it helps it kind of break up a little bit easier. This is my little Pamper Chef Chopper. Works very well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dump this right into my pan. And then I'm going to do the next half. Okay, here are the rest of my jalapenos. And I want to tell you, I took the seeds out and I left most of the membrane because I like the heat. <coughs> Sorry. My uh, boy dog is named Cookie and he's very high maintenance <laughs> and mouthy. Here's a tip. Wear gloves if you're very sensitive to peppers. If you are not, um, I usually just take some oil and rub it all over my hands before I wash them and then I wash them and it should take the heat right out of your hands. I love this little thing because then I don't have to get my whole uh, food processor out for this. To this I'm going to add one more cup of apple cider vinegar. So that makes two cups of apple cider vinegar. Three cloves of garlic. Oh yes, three cloves of garlic going in. Because garlic has a really good flavor and it's also good and sweet, believe it or not. This is going to require six cups of sugar, so I'm going to put five cups in right now. Here is two, four. This is a two cup measure, so I'm going to put half of it in. Okay. This is jelly, okay? It's sugary. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And I really want to get the garlic off of my... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there. There I go. I'm 
I have my jars in my canner and those in my water bath canner sterilizing. I have put three spoons into my freezers so that when this is ready, I can check my set. I'm going to take my last cup of sugar, put it into my bowl. I'm going to take my sure gel pectin and I'm going to pour it in my bowl and mix it with my sugar. So I just want to mix my sugar and pectin in together. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my sugar and my pectin mix. And of course I'm going to have my um, classic fruit pectin, my jar, sitting along the side in case I need more of it to make it set. You can make any jam set so long as you check it. Check it on your spoons, check it on a frozen plate to check your set before you put it in your jars because once you reprocess or once you process it, then you have to actually dump it all out and you've lost lids if they seal if your set isn't good enough. So make sure you're checking it before you can it. Okay, this is at a full rolling, but you can go ahead, honey. Go ahead. This is at a full rolling boil. That's the boil you cannot stir down. I'm going to put in my sugar and my pectin. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and I am going to boil it for one minute and then we're going to test our set. At this point you can put in your teaspoon of butter if you like to keep your foam down. Time is up. I'm going to test the set. I don't think this is going to be set yet. Nope. I am going to put in one more tablespoon of pectin. I'm gonna boil this one more minute. Okay, time is up. And let's check it again. Frozen spoon. I'm gonna do one more tablespoon. So this might take you two packages of pectin to do. Our time is up. We're going to check again. And that looks like it is now setting. Okay. At this point, you can put in, I'm going to turn my stove off and put in a couple drops of green food coloring. You can skip this part if you don't want the color in. It just makes it pretty. All right, I have my two jars here. I am going to get the jam in. Quarter inch head space. I have an array of different jars here. Go ahead and get them into the canner. I do have my lids in some water.
I am actually not debubbling these only because they're pretty liquid going in. But it is a good idea to debubble no matter what, especially if you're a new canner. Look how gorgeous this is, <laughs> gorgeous green. With my food coloring, of course. You can skip the food coloring or you can color it red if you want, especially if you were being festive. Everybody is in the hot tub. I am gonna go ahead and get the heat cranked. I'm gonna process these guys 15 minutes. It's a 10 minute base time. You're gonna need to or add your five minutes according to your altitude, so that makes mine 15 minutes. All right, these guys are done. Let me turn this light on for a minute and you can see how pretty this is. It's gorgeous. They, I've had them sitting up in the basket for five minutes and they have already pinged and they are sealed. I have one, one left to seal. There they are. They look dark. Um, it's kind of dark behind there, so they look kind of dark. It, they're really lighter. Here's what it, that's what it looks like in the little um, bowl. That's all that was left. And I put it in the freezer so it would set, and then I accidentally kind of froze it because I left it in there for the whole processing time and the 10 minutes it sat there, so it got a little too frozen. But that is the color of it. It is gorgeous. All right, that's all there is to it. It's a pretty easy jelly, and it's super delicious. With a little bit of added garlic, you're going to love it. I want to thank Diane the Candy Nana for inviting me to your collab. It was super fun and I have enjoyed everybody's video and I hope you all have too. Anyway, make sure you go to those other channels, subscribe, like, and watch their videos. Alright folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.